Hi friends, welcome back. We are on day four of the inner practices for the 12 nights of Yuletide. And it's Christmas Eve. Oh, it's Christmas Eve. And it is pouring rain here. It is going to rain for days on end, which is something we're not used to here in California. But you know what? I am soaking up every last bit of the sound. I have had nothing on, no radio or anything like that. And I have just been listening to it rain. It's, it's a beautiful sound, especially when you don't get to hear it that often. So for our fourth night of Yuletide here, ooh, you can barely see that because of my lights. Wow. Um, tonight's theme is finding peace. And wow, this is a great night to do this, I think. Um, Christmas Eve. So, uh, the book says, Christmas is also known as the Feast of Love. We wish for peace as an essential expression of love, so the quality of the day and the traditions of the season go together well. It says, peace is multifaceted and begins with each of us. Are you at peace and in harmony with yourself? So, it goes on to state that the Essenes, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but the Essenes formed a secret sect to practice and pass on the knowledge that was brought to Egypt after Atlantis sank into the ocean. And they really went hard um, against the Romans and Christianity on this. Uh, so the Essenes preserved this esoteric tradition and um, the sevenfold peace was at the core of their teachings. So the sevenfold peace is peace with the body, your body, peace with the mind, peace with the family, peace with humanity, peace with culture, peace with the kingdom of the earthly mother, which is our wonderful planet Earth, and peace with the kingdom of the heavenly father. Now, you already know how I feel about that. Um, but it does say here, it's Am I at peace with the Heavenly Father, the spiritual world, and its beings? So I think spiritual world and its beings are good enough for me. So those are the seven, that's the sevenfold peace. And that's what we're going to work with tonight. So we're going to talk about the sevenfold peace. And again, um, I'm going to say it again. One is peace with the body, two, peace with the mind, three, peace with the family, four, peace with humanity, five, peace with culture, and six, peace with kingdom of the earthly mother, and seven, peace with the kingdom of the heavenly father. So those are the different types of peace we're working with tonight. So here is a tall order. I want you to select one of those. The one that you think is most lacking in your life. Which one of those, which one of the seven are the most lacking in your life? And I want you to either find an affirmation or create your own affirmation. Uh, the book offers affirmations for each one so if you would like to purchase the book they come with the affirmations um 
And I want you to work with those. I want you to work with that affirmation to uh, bring about maybe some more peace in another area of your life. Um, also, I want you to pick one of those uh, sevenfold peace uh, as something that you're close to achieving. Is there one of those that you're really close to really getting some peace with? Okay, so that's what I want you to think about today is which one of those are you lacking and then which one of those are you pretty close to achieving? And the one that you're close to achieving, I want you to celebrate that because that's hard work. That kind of working on ourselves uh, to be kinder, gentler souls is, is hard work. So yeah, that's what I want you to do. Um, now we're going to move on to looking back at the year and were you at peace in general this past year? Were you pretty peaceful or was there a lot of, um, discontent going on? Hmm? So were you pretty peaceful or were you, you know... Uh, was there discord instead of peace? That's the question. Was there discord instead of peace? So again, looking back over the year, question one, what were you at peace with last year? And question two, when was there discord instead of peace? That's it. When was there discord instead of peace? So now we're going to look ahead to 2022. And with this one, I want to know, again, it's the same kind of thing uh, as I mentioned yesterday and I think the day before. They keep using the same sentence but qualifying it with the theme of the day. And I actually kind of like it. Um, so what do you wish for in terms of the coming year? about uh, peace and what kind of peace do you want to work on next year? You know, do you want to work on what's lacking or is there another, hey, you know, that's another great question. Is there something that's not covered in the sevenfold piece that you want to work on? Add your own thing in there. Um, so what kind of peace do you want to work on next year? So how do you approach peace with the sevenfold peace that I've given you? And what kind of peace do you want to work on next year? So with that, those are our questions for tonight. And um, I am going to throw it over to the uh, hostess with the mostest because I think although the journaling questions are really going very well, I think everybody's interested in drink -mas. <laughs> I can't blame you. Anyways, I'm throwing it over to the kitchen witch and she's going to finish off the night with drink -mas. Mwah. Hello, friends. Are you ready for day four of drink -mas? Let me grab our lovely, oh, <laughs> I had my gripper, my jar gripper on top of it. I was like, what fell off? Okay, so day four, day four. Let's see, can I see day four? Aha, day four. I think that's day four. It is, it's day four. All right. Let's see what is in Lou Roll for day four. Ooh, day four is Hendrix Gin. Hendrix Gin. And you know what? If I remember correctly, this is supposed to be drunk simply on the rocks. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. 
Um, and again, I forgot my phone. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I am just awful. I have everything else set up, ready to go, except the phone that's got all my drinks on it. <laughs> So I can't do anything without this. All right, let me see. Oh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So it looks like I am making a gin apple cider and ginger beer cocktail. Ooh, hello. Yes, please. That sounds delicious. All right. Let's find this great recipe here. Do, do, do. Of course, it's all the way down at the bottom. All right. Gin, lemon juice. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Very good. All right, so combine. All right, so this one, I get to use my cocktail shaker. Yay, for the first time. All right, I got to get my glass. What do I do with my, oh, there's my glass. I'm a mess, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. I had to grab my cocktail shaker. Whoop, whoop. Look at this. Would Carnunos be proud? Oh, my God. Right? I'm thrilled. I love that thing. <laughs> All right. And I need... Um, doo -doo -doo. I think... I need lemon juice. Um, okay. Oh, I need more of that ginger beer business. Oh. Ah. Here we go. I am just all over the place tonight. So, it says we are going to do, do, do. Oh, okay. So, We've got our, take the, see that's just a topper for the, the pour, ah, cocktail shaker. This is the first time I'm getting to use my cocktail shaker. I'm so excited. SpongeBob ice, of course. So we're going to put some ice in the cocktail shaker and we are going to put some ice in our glass. Mm -hmm. Now it says you're actually supposed to put the glass in the freezer for a little bit so the glass is chilled, but you know, I'm rolling as I pull them out so didn't have a chance to do that. All right, so... I've got, do, 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 we have our gin. Hopefully I can get that open. All right, there we go. I'm going to pour the gin into the shaker. I should have showed you that, shouldn't I? Um, we are going to use, it says fresh squeezed orange juice, but, or orange juice, lemon juice, but come on, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> And there we go. I am just all over the place. We'll get to the drink eventually, I swear. All right, so it says I need 0.75 ounces, so not quite an ounce of lemon juice. Ooh. So just under, just under an ounce of lemon juice. 
That is going in the uh, cocktail shaker. And then we have, oh, the same amount, the same amount in, I have, now I made the mistake and bought spiced apple cider. So I don't know how much difference that's going to make. I'm thinking it's probably going to be better, but I'm going to pour in, oop, well, maybe a little, little over an ounce because it came out real fast. <laughs> okay, so that gets put into the cocktail shaker. I'm so thrilled. Tom Cruise, eat your heart out. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then, here we go. I'm just pouring it right in to the glass here. Woo! Woohoo! And it says to top it off. Oh, here we go. Top it off with ginger beer. So, and here we go, folks. A gin apple cider ginger beer. Gin apple cider and ginger beer. Gin apple cider and ginger beer. Cheers. Oh, that's another nice one. Mmm. You get a little tart from the lemon. Um, you get a little bite from the ginger. And that gin is smooth. Mmm. This is a very good drink. I'm not sure I would... It would not be one of my favorites. I would make it again, but um, I don't know. Maybe in the summertime? It feels more like a summer drink than a winter drink. I don't know. Anyway, there you have it. Day four of Drinkmas. Mwah!